Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for today's video. Sorry if there's an echo, I am filming in my dining room because obviously we're doing a wine tasting. So, I have five glasses set in front of me. We're tasting five wines today. They're all rosés. I picked these five specifically because I wanted to try them. I drink a lot of rosé, so I feel like rosé is what I kind of know the best. So I'm really excited to try these today. I will list everything in the description box if you're interested in checking any of these wines out. But what I think I'm gonna do is just honestly get started and go through each one and give you kind of like a little bit of a rundown about the wine, what celebrity is tied to the wine, where it's made, if it has any like claims, which some of them do. And then obviously the most important thing is tasting them and seeing if they are good. So honestly, I'm just gonna get the ball rolling and I'm gonna start with the one that I'm honestly, no offense, the least excited about, and that is Fresh Vine Wine. So I'm gonna go get it and we're gonna test it out. Okay. Okay, so here we are, we're starting with Fresh Vine Wine. This is the Julianne Hoff and Nina Dobrev wine. If you don't know who they are, Nina Dobrev was the star of The Vampire Diaries on the CW, and Julianne Hough is best known for being a dancer and judge on Dancing with the Stars. So they created a wine that's marketed towards people who live healthy lifestyles, which um, I wouldn't say I'm like the target audience for, but it's a, it's a, it's a nice concept, okay? Um, here's what the bottle looks like. And on the bottle it says, low calorie and low carb wine. So if that speaks to you, I'll let you know if this is any good, but let's go to their website and see what it claims to be. Okay, so Fresh Vine Wines are a unique collection of bold, crisp, and creamy wines that embody deeper connection with active lifestyles. They're produced and bottled in Napa, and they have a Cab Sab, a Pinot Noir, a Chardonnay, and a Rosé. Okay, so it says they're low calorie, low carb, low sugar, gluten free. So let's just get to the fun part and taste it. Oh, this is actually interesting. It has the like nutrition facts on the back of the bottle, which wine does not ever do. So it says per serving there's 98 calories, 2.86 grams of carbohydrates, zero fat, and 0 0.06 grams of protein. <laughs> and that is for five ounces and the bottle contains 25 ounces. So that's actually pretty helpful. It actually smells pretty good. Cheers. Okay, so it's actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. So on the website it says it has fresh flavors of nectarine, stone fruit, and melon with mouth-watering acidity. Honestly, it's pretty good. If you're like looking for something like this with, you know, no added sugars, and it's, it's apparently supposed to help with if you get like really bad wine hangovers, but it's really pretty tasty. I would give this like a 6.5 out of 10. It's definitely not the best rosé I've ever had, but I had fairly low expectations for it, and it is exceeding the expectations that I had. Okay, we're gonna cleanse our palate with some water and move on to the next wine. For wine number two, we are traveling to a different continent, to Europe, and we are trying Miraval Rosé from Provence, France. And if you didn't know, Miraval is owned by Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, yes, even post-divorce. I actually have had this before, and it's really good, I do like it, but I wanna kind of like compare it to the rest of the group. They sell these mini bottles, how cute is this? I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's like a little guy, um, and I like that it has a twist off. All right, let's read some information about Miraval before we do the official taste test. Okay, so Miraval's website is very confusing and I think they only sell rosé. Um, I'm gonna go to wine.com, which is where I actually bought this one. 
and find out how much it cost. So their 2020 full bottle, which is 750 milliliters, costs $25, which is pretty affordable, especially for like a celebrity wine. And their half bottle, which is the 375 mil, which is what I got, was $15.99. So I would say honestly go with the bigger bottle because you're saving more money on that. I just wanted to get the small one because it looked cute. <laughs> but you know, whatever. It has a 3.8 rating on wine.com. The winemaker notes it is, it exudes aromas of fresh fruit, currants, and fresh rose with a zest of lemon and I do love a lemon zest. So let's try this out. It's a similar color to Fresh Vine. Fresh Vine's a little bit more pale, I would say, but the color is pretty similar. It's good. It really is. I totally like it. It's it has more like life to it than fresh vine wine. And I'm not surprised because fresh vine, again, is supposed to be more of like a healthy wine, no added sugars. This one just like has more flavor to it and that's what I prefer. So this one, definitely over that one. I give this one a solid seven out of 10. Oh, I forgot to tell you how much the fresh vine wine costs. So they didn't have that one on wine.com. I did have to buy it from the Fresh Vine Wine website. Their full bottle, this is very affordable, is $15.89 for their 2020 Rosé for the Fresh Vine Wine. Sorry, I was like sitting so close to my camera there. And that was the same price as the small bottle of Miraval. And maybe because Miraval is like French, it's Brangelina, I don't know. But Fresh Vine Wine is cheaper and if you do buy wine on their website, you get free shipping when you order three plus bottles. The shipping was just as much as the wine cost. So I ended up spending $30 on just that one bottle of wine. So if you are gonna buy something, I would recommend just buying three bottles, get free shipping, and if you don't like them, you can like give them away as a gift or something. <laughs> yum, like I, mm, yum. I might bump that to an eight out of 10, depending on what the rest of them taste like. Okay, this next one's a little bit of a surprise because I, thought this was a rosé. I mean, looking at the bottle, it looks like a rosé, but it's a Pinot Grigio, and it is Sun Goddess by Mary J. Blige. So I'm a little confused. I love Pinot Grigio, so I'm excited to try it, but that was very confusing. Okay, so this is a Pinot Grigio, obviously, from 2019, made in Italy, and it was $19.99. What an interesting color. Okay, so this is actually interesting. So the winemaker notes, it says that it has hints of fruit, peach, melon, and berries, and it comes from an area in Italy known for Auburn or copper wines, and they're produced by Pinot Grigio grapes musted with its skins, so it gives it a pink hue. So I guess that's why it kind of looks like rosé. So let's see how it tastes. That is delicious. James Suckling gave this a 90 out of 100, which I think was like his rating, he said, of wines that he would keep in his own home. So that's pretty high praise. <laughs> This is delish. I would actually buy this again and again and again. I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. And if I place another order on wine.com, I am gonna buy another bottle because this was 20 bucks and it's delicious. <laughs> Definitely my favorite one so far. Next up we have Aveline. And I think this is my favorite kind of like branding and labeling of all of the wines today. This is from Miss Cameron Diaz, we love her. And this one also has the information on the back about calories, carbs, fat, protein. Um, so this is a 750 ml bottle, five ounces, 112 calories, 2.5 grams of carbs, zero grams of fat, and zero grams of protein. And it has all the ingredients in it on the back. 
and this one is from France. Made with organic grapes, it's vegan friendly, it's free from added sugars, artificial colors, and concentrates, and the taste says it's light and fresh with notes of melon and zest. Again, we love zest, and it says it pairs well with the warmth of the sun and the company of your best friend, which I actually think is pretty cute. And honestly, I feel like I got all the information that I needed from the bottle itself. I didn't feel like I had to go to their website to get any additional information, so I kinda like that. This was $24 when I bought it, and it's on sale right now for $19.99 on wine.com. It's very zesty, which I like, as I've said 500 times. It's good. I would say right now it's kind of in the middle of the pack. It's zestier than the Miraval. It's more flavorful than the fresh fine wine. But Mary J. Blige is still holding her own and that is still my favorite one. I would give this like a six and a half out of 10. It's just not my favorite, but is nice. What I'm realizing now as I'm drinking more of these is that the fresh vine wine one is the most floral of all of these. So now we have one more and this was honestly my favorite or this was the one I was most excited for and that's why I saved it for last. And this is three by Wade. This is Dwayne Wade's wine, which sounds weird, but I know I've heard that he's like a big wine connoisseur. So I kind of have high hopes for this. The color is a lot deeper than all the other ones that we've had so far. This is, where are you from? This is a 2020 California Rose. And this bottle that I bought was $16.99. So honestly, all the prices of these wines are pretty reasonable. The Miraval is the most expensive one, but the rest of them, I feel like are pretty reasonable. So let's open this one up. So the notes from the winemaker say it is light in color, honeysuckle and strawberries explode from the glass. Okay, let's see. Loads of red fruit and mouth-watering acidity. Let's find out. That is interesting. It tastes very different on the initial sip and then like when you swallow it and then the aftertaste, they're all kind of a little bit different. So I think I've realized what's different about this wine compared to like the other ones and just other rosés that I've had in general. This one feels a lot more rich it's deeper in color, so maybe that's why. Maybe the flavor is kind of like in between rosé and like a red more so than these other rosés. I'm not really sure. It's tasty. It's not my favorite rosé that I've ever had, and I think it's because I like a more crisp, like zesty rosé. Are we shocked at this point? No. And this one is more like rich. Um, I would give it like a seven out of 10. It's time for final thoughts. Okay, I've put my favorites in a final ranking. Number one, obviously no surprise, Mary J. Blige, Sun Goddess, number one. This is something that I absolutely would drink again. Loved it, nine out of 10 for sure. It is a little bit sweeter, so if you don't really like that, it's a dry wine, but it does have like a more like fruity, sweet, taste so if you don't like that you might not like it i like that so i love it number one number two miraval i've had this before so i knew i was gonna like it but i wasn't sure how it was gonna stand up to the rest this is definitely number two i would say sun goddess was a nine out of ten miraval was like an eight out of ten and then aveline and three by wade were kind of neck and neck they're so different. My personal preference is Aveline in the third spot. I prefer something zestier, lighter. And this one was more like buttery and rich, which 
it it still tastes really good it's just not my personal preference so I would say out of these two Aveline comes in just overweighed this one is number one for branding I don't know why I think this is so cute and I love a twist top so one for branding three for taste so these two are kind of both like seven out of tens in that range and then at the bottom, I'm so sorry, fresh wine wine. It's not that bad. Just compared to the rest, it's not holding up. The warmer it gets, the more floral it's tasting. When rosé is really cold, it can be like harder to pick up all the flavors. So like as they've been sitting out and the warmer it's getting, the more like floral it's getting to me. And that again is just not really my personal taste. But if you like that, then you might really like this. And if you are like really trying to watch your calories and your sugar and all that, then I don't think you'd be disappointed. I just don't think it's like, it's not gonna taste as good in my opinion as like the roses that aren't sugar free and organic and all that kind of stuff. So that is the final verdict. If you, after watching this, think you might have the same taste in wines as me, buy this please <laughs> it's so good i love it i love pinot grigio i love rosé those are my two favorite wines and this is like they had a baby what more could i want i want this all the time okay this is what i want all the time and that's that's kind of it number one mary j blige thank you so much for what you've done for us i really appreciate it so that's it for today. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you liked it and would like to maybe see a part two where I try some more celebrity wines because there are more. And like I mentioned, there are also more celebrity beverages that I would be open to trying as well. So let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.